Hello, welcome for another Oracle session. In this session, we are going to discuss regular expressions, how it is implemented in Oracle. Regular expression have been introduced in 10G in Oracle. Actually, regular expression has been used in Unix for a long time. It also implemented a lot of other languages, Perl, Java, Ruby, Python, .NET, etc. And also databases, Oracle, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. It has been very useful for a long time in programming. Regular expression uses patterns as well as literals to identify certain kind of strings. Regular expressions can be used in SQL as well as PLSQL and also as a constraints in table scripts. So that way it can maintain the data. In particular, regular expressions are very helpful as well as a very powerful concept for streamlining the data. It simplifies the SQL or PLSQL to find very complex search patterns. We'll see more example later. Now, regular expression can be used in Oracle in char type, n char, slab, n slab, n var2, and var char2, but it cannot be used in long. In Oracle, regular expression has five syntaxes. Regular expressions are using the ID reg exp. All the commands start with reg exp. The first one condition is reg exp like. It's a condition which can be used in where classes. In this example, here it is looking for a first name where Stephen or Stephen. We'll see the syntax and what the dollar and pipe is doing. Next example, regsp replace. So it takes one string and format into a different one. Now we have regsp in string. Regsp in strings find the occurrence of a pattern within the given string. In this example, it is trying to find a email address within the email descriptor. Next one is regexp substring. Regexp substring looks for the pattern from a given position and how many occurrences are there using a match parameter. A match parameter can take five values like here C, I, M, N, X. C is case sensitive. I is case insensitive. M yeah, means source can have multiple lines. That is a new line characters also included. N yeah, means it allows the dot as well. X means ignores all the white case. Regis pick count here trying to count how many patterns occurs in the given string. For example, Regis pick count looks for E from the position 7 without a case sensitive within the given word. Now it start from the upper case E but the result will be 1 because it's case sensitive. There is only lower case E here. To understand regexp we have to understand some more syntax here. Let us start with the meta characters dot. A dot means any single characters except a new line. A star means zero or more characters preceding to the characters. A caret symbol means beginning. The search will start from the beginning. A dollar means end of the line. Escape gives a different meaning to the letters happens after that one. For example, Backslash D means a decimal. We will see the details later. Now a square bracket. Square bracket means one or more characters. A caret within the bracket means negation. It avoids all the 
characters within the brackets. A pipe means alternation, either A or B. In this example, it will look for house or home, they or them. A plus means one or more occurrence of the letter preceding it. A question mark means zero or more occurrence. Now, N, a digit appearing within the angular bracket means exactly N repetitions of the previous character. Here, N slash within the angular brackets means N or more repetitions of the previous characters. Slash M within angular brackets means zero or more occurrence of the previous characters. N comma M means N to M repetitions. All these are numbers. Now, a group of characters between the parentheses, a group or a sub expression. We will see how this grouping or sub expression used effectively in our search. Now, backslash N can be used for back references. Its value can be slash 1 to slash 9. That is 9 values. Back reference is very useful when you try to refer a value we found in the search. We will see it in detail later. Now, character class. A slash C means a control character. It is a backslash C. Now, backslash S means white space. Backslash uppercase S means not a white space. Backslash D means a digit. Backslash uppercase D means not a digit. Slash W means a word. Backslash W is not a word. Backslash X is hexadecimal. Backslash uppercase O, octal digit. And the POSIX format. We actually, we have two different formats. One is Perl, we saw before. Now, this is POSIX notation, which is expressed in brackets enclosed by semicolons. The alpha num means alphabetics as well as numbers. That is equivalent to alpha and digit. Alpha means all letters. ASCII means all ASCII characters. Blank means space and tab. Control means control characters which are not printable. Digit means all the digits and the X digit means hexadecimal digits. Graph means visible characters that includes punctuation, upper, lower, digit. Lower means lower case letters, print, visible characters including the space. Punctuation means punctuation and the symbol. Space means space, form pin, carriage written, horizontal tab, vertical tab. Upper means uppercase, word means digits, letters, and underscores. We also groups and ranges. How do you read? Express group and ranges. Let us see. A dot means a single character. We already seen that. Here within the group, A slash B means A or B. Next, this is a group. Any sequence of characters within a parenthesis means group or a sub-expression. It's a very useful concept. We will discuss. Now, a question mark followed by some characters within bracket means pass a, a non-capturing groups. We will see it later. A, B, C within bracket, as we discussed, it's a range. It meets either A, B, or C. Here, with a prepended with a caret means not A, not B, not C. Now, A dash Q means A to Q. All the letters between small A to small Q. Here, uppercase A to uppercase Q. This is 0 to 7. Slash X means a sub pattern. That is 1, 2, 3 like. We will use it later. We have seen the syntaxes. Now let us go for some examples. Here we are trying to force an address, US address, which is given a single line. We are trying to find a one by one. We have to find a street number. How can we find it? So this is the syntax to find the syntax. So we got the 500. How do you got this one? 
this is a caret means start of the line and a slash d means a digit this is a range 1 to 5 any digit from 1 up to 5 the past since we are starting with the past we got this one even if you don't say past it will start from a year by default so we'll get again 500 even though there is a 5 digit year now let us go for the street we need the street how do you find the street so this example we look within the barrett carrot comma that means any string which is not a comma and plus means any number of characters satisfying this condition so it is start looking from here and come up to comma let me try this one now we got 500 oracle way that is complete straight with a number so it stops when it sees the first comma that's what it means not a comma and plus means any number of character satisfying the condition now if you want only the street we have to start our search from the space not from the first characters how to do it the simplest way is we add it here a yes, space here if you see the space that is start with a space and find a character which is not a comma so this gives you only the street but still there will be a space that's why uh, we are using the trim function here to remove that space otherwise it includes the space as well the next one is for city how do you find the city the simple thing is we start our search from after the space but we should not stop to the first comma we have to go for second so any such pattern so go up to the second comma this is what is going to if you see it it gives the city we don't need a trim but we may have a trim so that might exclude any space character if we add now we need to find the zip if you need we can find a zip because it simply is pi digits so it's the only number appearing if you want to specify we can put the dollar that is the end of the line but still we need the state here state how can you find we can find a different ways so we can find sixty word here it means it's a say it gives a six word if you want to complete straight with the zip code we can do like this that is we find the third element from the comma now let us see one more interesting example we're trying to find a detail from the employees in EHS schema we got this one we just restrict our query to only the fields we interested we don't want to display all the fields now if you look at the phone number it's a different format three digit dot three digit dot four digits this is not the way we display the phone number how can you display phone in the format usually in the american we can use regexp replace function to format the phone number now how do you do this so we have to take the past numbers 
format it second group and the, the, which is three digits format and take the next group that is uh, four digits using regexp first we have to group it we already seen the group is created by parenthesis so our first parenthesis first three digits how do you do it so backslash d and three so this is our first group and it is followed by a dot so i have to say backslash dot meaning that it's looking for a dot now it's the same thing we do this is another group and followed by a dot we need a backslash to escape and next is four digits four this is the format for the phone number we have that is three digits we grouped it using bracket the first group second group and this is the third group so we mentioned the pattern now how do you want to replace it we have to replace with this patterns that is the first group within parenthesis and a space and then we want the second uh, iphone and third this is the format we want to display so this is the regular expression now it displays the desired format we can change it any way we want we can change the characters within the brackets or with hyphen or dot himself whatever format we want we can now plus so this is how regular expression makes very simple to change or count or find a pattern within the given construct i hope this helped you to start with oracle regular expressions if you have any questions please send us and any comments welcome and also please subscribe we will see more interesting examples in the next session thank you